So I'm going to go into Boeing. Then we got two days left. And let's take a small trade here. Uh, this is what at 342. So I'm going to take the 345 as so a 41 delta. I'll take the 347.5. And what we'll do is uh, the 347. Let's just get into five contracts. Give ourselves a little room to double down if needed. So this mark is 211 now, 220. Okay, so we'll just leave it at 225 and let's see what happens. Okay, 2.07. All right, we are in on Boeing and let's just monitor this. Let's go back to our chart. And as you can see, the S&P again trying to do some kind of a fake out. But uh, the good thing with stocks like Boeing and everything is that, you know, the options are not very expensive. So like then that's the other issue with stocks like Amazon. You have to be careful because these options are expensive and they can move a lot. And so if Amazon goes down by 10, 15 dollars, uh, that can make a big uh, impact on the options position. So let's uh, keep this again. There's a little bit of a fake out coming in. And if, if, if of course, if it goes down too much, we, we will double down on Boeing. But right now it's nowhere close to that. So we'll just leave it at, as is here. But it seemed like Boeing was uh, certainly looking to go up. And so was the S&P when we took the trade. I don't see a general huge weakness. Once again, we have to wait and see um, about uh, how this one performs. Now the S&P is turning around. This is good. This is good for our trade. This is good for Boeing. Let's, uh, let's just watch this for a while. And meanwhile, let's see what PayPal is doing. PayPal is just about 89 and odd. Let's see who all are doing well. The ES, of course, was doing well. But, uh, Boeing also should be. Uh, Boeing is also in the very bullish. It's up 57 cents. S&P is looking nice, uh, it's moving up nicely. Let's see why Boeing is not catching up. Well, I'm sure it, it you know, probably if S&P remains strong, it will catch up. Let's just take a quick look at the monitor. Make sure we are not down too much. No, not at all. So we are doing good. And I will just select Boeing here. So we have that pinned over there. So Boeing is also trying to move up a little bit. So let's go take a look at what's happening here. We are up 55, obviously not a whole lot. And now 125, you can see Boeing is punching up now. Let's continue to watch it over here and see uh, see how we can go. So it's at 342.5. So let's just watch the charts here. All right, so Boeing is punching up nicely, gone past the open. And so let's see what we got. We have a profit of $210. So what is this trade? This is about a thousand dollar trade, thousand dollars and thirty five one zero three five, something like that. So already, as you can see, this is up twenty five percent. I think it can go up significantly more uh, as long as the S&P also is uh, is cooperative in that sense. But it should be. But the moment, uh, you know, it shows weakness, uh, you know, we take it off uh, because uh, these things can change, as we know. Three oh three. You can see Boeing is moving up. S&P is also moving up. So signals would definitely still be very bullish i believe and let's see if it can go a little higher than that so we got in at 2.07 if you recall so we've got 274 here now smp is also softening so i'll go ahead and take 261 if we can all right that's good so we got 265 slightly better than the thing that was moving up at that point okay so this is not this is not going to be good for all stocks uh, so i would um, I would say with any any sort of um, if we can get a little bit of a break, I'm going to take the I'm going to take the uh, I'm going to take the whole trade off. So this is at 258. Let's confirm and send because it doesn't make sense to play around when uh, the S&P is doing this. And granted, Boeing is not getting affected a whole lot, but my sense is if this continues, then uh, Boeing will get affected. And so this kind of a big drop is just not worth fighting for. So. Um, whatever you know we can get uh, from here from this trade at least let's just take it and run okay so we did we did uh, it's moving up a little bit now the S&P as well as Boeing but uh, 257 so that's about a 25 percent uh, the ES is right here yeah it's gone to neutral so I, th I think we did a good thing okay so that's it for today folks so I'm going to leave the screens open all this put call ratio everything is, is going to be visible here uh, you know it's not bad and Obviously, two hundred and fifty dollars doesn't seem like a lot, but then it all it all has to do with what kind of contracts you you know you're putting on the trade and all of that. So that's an individual thing in terms of an ROI or return on capital. That's about twenty five percent, and that's about all you can uh, uh, hope for uh, from a day trade. I mean, that's that's good if you can keep these winners consistent, but be safe and just continue to add on them. That's really the game plan.